Hello folks, Mark here. Today I'll be demonstrating controlling the drawbars and tremolo switch of a software-based virtual organ using MIDI velocity and keyboard aftertouch. What you just heard was me playing acoustic samples B5 virtual organ. In my opinion, this is one of the better software programs representing the classic Hammond B3 tone wheel organ. In the middle of B5's graphic interface are the drawbars, which you hopefully saw responding to MIDI velocity or how forcefully I hit the keys on the MIDI controller keyboard. Also, after touch was used to control one of the drawbars and the tremolo switch. Let's take a closer look. Close to the top of the B5 interface, you can see the three sets of drawbars, one for the upper manual, one for the bass pedals, and one for the lower manual. I'm only using the upper manual drawbars for this particular demonstration. Also, the tremolo switch down below here is being controlled by aftertouch. That's also true for drawbar number nine here. Now, the way this is being accomplished is on another page that I'll bring up. This is where you assign individual continuous controllers to each one of the virtual drawbars. B5 does not allow assigning MIDI velocity directly to the drawbars or any other parameter for that matter. So I have to assign a continuous controller and then use another plugin to translate from MIDI velocity to each one of those continuous controllers. This is depicted on the left hand side where you see a number of of other plugins at work here. The plugin I'm using for the conversion is called MIDI Converter 3. It's made by a company or individual that goes by PIZ or PIZ. And it's not big on graphics, but it does do the job. It has a number of sliders here. The very top slider is where you define what you want to convert. Further down below is what you want to convert that parameter to. So in this case, it's continuous controller number 75. And then you can set values for the lower output and the higher output. So if you want to reverse the drawbar direction, you would set the low output to the maximum number and the high output to the minimum number. And so that's why you can see some of the drawbars going in one direction and some of the drawbars going in the other direction. I also have this MIDI converter plugin doing the translation from MIDI velocity to aftertouch. And that shows up twice because as I said earlier, I'm doing it for both the tremolo switch and drawbar number nine. And the only other detail, maybe not worth mentioning here is there's kind of a quirk with this plugin where when you receive a note off message, it sets the drawbar back to zero. That was undesirable for my purposes here. So 
I use this very same MIDI converter plugin as a filter to filter out the value of zero for that continuous controller. And so that helps avoid the drawbars constantly going back to their initial position with every release of the key. Okay, I'll do a little bit more playing and then wrap this up. One more thing to note, translating MIDI velocity to the drawbars is very convenient for those who are busy using both hands, as I often find myself doing. This is Mark, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.